Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a good day so far. Today I'm bringing you something very interesting. I'm bringing you a mid-range Xerx deck. Um, it's kind of a mix between aggro and mid-range. Uh, we do have a lot of late game threats in this deck, but we push a lot of damage with this deck very early if we want to as well. So nonetheless, let me pull up the deck for you guys. I figured this is a little bit easier than going through the, you know, going through my whole collection and going through the cards through there. I'm going to talk about all these cards and tell you why I run them and, you know, why I suggest you run them as well. So, first off, we're playing Xerix instead of Saj. I just don't like Saj that much. I feel like Xerix is a little better. Being able to spawn out a 2-2 is very important um, instead of taking more damage, you know? The first card we're going to run that's a little weird in this deck, but I, I really like it, to be honest with you, is Iraqi Headhunter. Now, this card ha plays very well. We have, I think, 13 minions with opening Gambit. We got the um, Flame Blood Warlocks. We have Primus Fist. We have Thalcius. We have Lightbenders. We have Sandswirl Readers. And I think that's it. But I think all together, it's, uh, I think I counted it up. It was like 13. Anyway, it's enough to trigger this thing quite a few times, which is nuts. And it can get really big really fast. So that's the reason we're running this card. It, it fits in the spot very nice. It has a high health. It'll stay alive for a little bit. And then you can buff its attack pretty easily between everything else. Like I said, this deck, we want to push a lot of damage. But we're playing a more mid-rangey version instead of just running a bunch of two drops and stuff. Also in this deck, if you guys didn't notice, we're not running any Obelisk. Uh, it's something I really wanted to make. I really didn't want to make an Obelisk deck or make a deck around Obelisk. So I really want to try out something different. Next up, we're playing Flame Blood Warlock. This card combos very well with another card in our deck, Falcius, because you won't take any damage if you play Falcius first and then Flame Blood. Flame Blood allows you to take care of a lot of artifacts. It allows you to ping down your opponent's, uh, your opponent's general. Um, most of the time, you can even win off this card. So it's a really good card. And it also buffs up our uh, Headhunter, which is really nice as well. Our next card running is Primus Fist. Primus Fist allows us to buff up our minions, allowing us to get the winning blow most of the time. Uh, it buffs up Headhunter, and it's just a really nice 2-drop that doesn't die early game. Even if we have to play it, like if we have to tempo it out, um, it doesn't even, it doesn't die to like just pings or anything, which is really nice. Which is something that you have to look at when playing like Flame Blood Warlock turn 1. Our next card is Falcius. Now, Falcius is a staple, I feel like, in any Vitruvian deck, allowing me to clean up minions if I want to do that, or I can keep pushing aggro if I want to do that as well. Like I said, pairs very well with Flame Blood Warlock, and it's just a nice card overall. Now, getting on to some of the new cards in the deck, we are running three Wild Tars. Now, this card gets really big really quick, definitely if your opponent does not, uh, definitely your opponent does not, you know, care about it and just leaves it alone. If they just hit you a few times and leave this thing up, it's going to be crazy. This pairs very well with another card we're running in the deck. It's actually a spell. Uh, I'm just going to hop to it so we can talk about some combos, which is Astral Phasing. Now, we're running two Astral Phasings in the deck. That gives a that gives a friendly minion plus five health and flying. Um, I was going to name the deck when, pings, when pigs fly, but nothing's really a pig. I mean, we have a boar and, a, and I don't know what Thunderhorn is. Thunderhorn. So, um, yeah, so Astral Phasing pairs very well with Wild Tar. It's kind of the whole combo in the deck. You can get some big damage, and, uh, you know, Wild Tar gets really big sometimes, and it gets, like, it has Frenzy, so it clears off most of the board, which is really, really cool. So that is a really cool combo to keep in mind. Also, this card pairs very well with, you know, like, Second Wishes as well, keeping it alive so your opponent can't kill it and deal massive damage to them. Even if it doesn't get the buff on your opponent's turn, if you second wish or first wish this thing, it becomes a bigger threat than your opponent intended it to be anyway. Next up, we are running two Lightbenders. I feel like this deck did need a little bit of Dispel. Lightbender, you know, fits well with Headhunter because it has the opening Gambit. And, you know, it's nice to dispel spaces sometimes or dispel your opponent's minions. So, uh, um, two Lightbenders is needed. Next up, we need a little bit of draw in the deck. So I threw in some spell jammers. They've been running pretty well. They can run pretty aggressive as a 3-5. It's still a pretty big body for your opponent to deal with. Like I said, and then you can first wish or second wish this as much as you want. Next up, we are running three Thunderhorns. Now this card is a key player in this deck as it is in most decks that it's played in. Thunderhorn pairs very well with second wish. Pairs very well with first wish, buffing it. Buffing this thing at all is, is a powerhouse. Buffing it with uh, Primus Fist is very nice. And then overall pairing it with like uh, actual phasing plus any of those is absolutely ridiculous. I've, it's possible to do in the deck. I've done it multiple, multiple times. It's just a fun combo. It's a combo to look out for. If you have it in your hand, keep it. Um, try to get it on board as fast as possible. It's going to be hard for your opponent to deal with a flying Thunderhorn. Next up, we're running two Sand Swirl Readers. Now, this card allows you to, to uh, make sure your opponent just stays behind a turn. 
so you can you can throw it out and just pretty much throw that minion either in your way or throw that minion that you just want back in your opponent's hand back in their hand which is really really nice and it gives you that uh that exhuming sand spot that's not really why we're playing the card it does help but but normally just playing it to set your opponent back a turn is very 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 nice it allows you to push a little bit more damage than you need to maybe block uh, you, you know like maybe get rid of that iron cliff guardian that's blocking the opponent in general so your wild heart can get the winning hit some stuff like that so sandstorm readers really really nice then lastly for our minions we're running three imara healers i really like this card i think it's been a powerhouse in vitruvian all along i think it's always probably always will be you know healing five damage and then healing five is super strong so you got a little bit of healing in the deck you deal a lot more damage it's hard for your opponent to deal with they have to transform it to kill it if they kill it they're at least taking five damage uh if they transform it that's like the worst thing for us so yeah that is the minions onto the spells we're running three first wish for the draw and the buff two second wishes for the buff uh it's really nice like i said on the minions that i told you about two astral phasings for the combos with wild tar and thunderhorn uh, three Blood of Airs for a removal. It's really nice. And then one Superior Mirage. Superior Mirage is a, a new card. It pairs so, so good with your opponent's Rush Minions. So, like, if you're playing Magmar and they're playing Rush Minions or you're playing Abyssian and they play Spec Revs, normally Superior Mirage is a card that you maybe want to save in your hand even if it's early game against those against those factions because you know they're going to play those Rush Minions. And then Superior Mirage can most likely get you the win the next turn. Uh, but I feel like only one copy is needed because we really want to keep pushing damage in this deck. And then Superior Mirage is kind of a backup against those archetypes. But anyways, yeah, this is the deck. I'm going to bring you guys some games. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I will bring you guys back when we get into a match. So, yeah. Alright, boys. We hopped into our first match. Playing Celestial... Swar what is his name? Celestial something. I didn't get to read it in time. Anyways, we're going to drop Superior... Mm, no, we're playing Magmar. Probably want to keep it. Uh, we'll drop the Blood of Air. Actually, we'll drop both Blood of Airs. Lightbender can... Lightbender can, uh... Spell the General. Yeah. Falcius and Primus Fist. A-okay. Okay, so we can actually... So, so Headhunter is a really nice turn one because I can actually go uh, Headhunter into Primus Fist, giving me a 3-3 three, three, and a 2-3 turn one. For me. Metallurgist. So we're playing Golems. We're playing golems, so maybe Superior Mirage on like um, Juggernauts, maybe? We'll see. So we are going to play the Hunt Hunter here, and we are going to play the Primus Fist here. Buffing up the Head Hunter um, to a 3-3. Three, three. Well, it's 5-3 right now, but we're not going to get any use out of its attack. Um, Alright, so that gives me a pretty good early game. Able to uh, Head Hunter is able to kill off the Metallurgist if it moves down onto Tile. I'm also blocking off the middle tile from Vath, so he cannot take it. Looking pretty good early game here. Ragebinder coming out, giving him a little bit of health. That's fine. He has two mana left. He can play another Ragebinder. That's, that is what we see. So, what we're going to do here, I think, is... Uh, We're gonna play the Falcius up here to block off the path of the Rage Binder, or I can play it down here. The thing is, I want I want the Headhunter to come down here to keep getting swole, right? So I need to kill this. So um. get rid of that said hunter down to get rid of that we really don't want to see any lava flash here so i'm sure we will we have the blood of air so it's okay uh light bender is really nice as well. well call that a turn so this only allows uh this only allows him to trade into my primus fist if he bbs's or he just comes down here and trades with the rage binder um doesn't give him access to my head hunter unless he lava slashers uh, but lava slasher is really hard to play around um but if he does lava slasher this lava slasher is going to be taking a ton of damage as you guys can see, Headhunter already gets buffed, you know, a lot in this deck. Look, he's wasting the Tiger on it. 
Like I said, Hunter Hunter can be a really big threat, definitely with something like Astral Phasing as well in the deck. It's it's an actual powerhouse in the deck. Um, it's the only reason I would have run that card ever. So he's going to move down here to take out that Primus Fist, which is okay. Move down that Rage Binder. Um, I think we can play another Falcius here. I can actually, you know what I can do? Actually, Light Bender instead. Think about playing another Falcius here. Falcius, bam, come up, bam. That gives me what? That gives me my general and two minions on board. Um, but it is weak to Plasma Storm. But if I do do that, I can. I mean, I can be as well. Um, other moves I could do is Blood of Air, but I think I'd rather save Blood of Air for a bigger threat. Or I can just Lightbender and send him back. By Lightbender, um, I don't think Lightbender is useful right now but I do want to keep my hand I think I think I'm gonna try I'm gonna play another Falcius give it to that uh, we're gonna hope he doesn't plasma storm us here you know what it's a big possibility if he does he does um, so be it oh we did draw the flame blood after both Falcius plays too that's unfortunate Actually, if we had Flame Blood last turn, I could have played the Falcius out and then Flame Blood as well, which would have been super strong there. Hopefully, we don't fall into a Falcius. Uh, unless he flashes out a War Beast, I think we're set. And I don't think he's going to play um, Natural Selection. I don't think he's going to play a uh, Plasma. I mean, he can't now. Well, at least that tells me he doesn't have one in hand, because he would have played it if he did. Oh, Flame Blood. Waltar is fine. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I might Blood of Error this year. Want to get wild tar developed? Okay, so we get blood of air. This go face, but then I don't have removal in hand. But I think it's our best bet. We're gonna keep the Falcius alive. Or do I go face? Now we keep it alive. We're gonna keep it alive. Thunderhorn is very scary for him. War Beast? Lava Slasher. Bound to come out eventually. Unfortunately, uh, right now I currently don't really have the greatest answer for it. I'm gonna Lightbender here, dropping him back down to two. If I Lightbender, I can also play out Wild Tar. Um, other things I could actually just play Wild Tar and Thunderhorn, which I think, but I'm gonna be taking eight damage next turn if I do that. So we don't get hit by a war beast, man. If we do, we're just gonna superior mirage it. So I think we're okay. I think we're okay. And, it, and if he hits me this turn, Waltar is gonna be really big. Oh my god, he flashed out something. Flashed out something. War beast, it is. That's fine. Oh no, that's not fine because now. Oh, into a natural selection? Oh, the answers are real right now, man. He flashed out natural, so I can't, um, so I can't mirage it. Smart. 
Fortunately, this is not going my way. We're gonna play Aymara. Fall to turn. Oh, he has one card in hand. I hope it's just not the answer. Can't not select it. So, as long as it's not a thumping wave. Or a Grandmaster. It's gonna be Grandmaster. I can feel it. Juggernaut? Oh, okay. I can just spell that. I can actually Superior Mirage this and then dispel his. The problem is if I, I wanted to dispel and if I dispel. If I dispel, there's a chance that I could. There's a chance that. Right, if I Superior Mirage. So, I mean, they can't take damage any. If I Superior Mirage and then dispel, I guess it's for a trying, right? We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. Hopefully, they don't spawn here. And it does. Fucking tap. We're gonna dispel the top two. It's fine. I'll leave these two up. Oh, you know what? I should have left that there so he had to trade into the Amara. Oh, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? See, I really want to play the Lightbender here, but I really want to get the Juggernaut ability, so I didn't want to dispel the Juggernaut. We ended up dispelling one of our own Juggernauts, but I think it was worth it, because I had to dispel his. I can't, I can't leave his up. Sandsworld Reader is really nice here, too, if you, like, tempo, like, I don't know. Like, it's a possibility. Really nice. <gasps> So doesn't get it. So doesn't get it. He was close. He was close. All right, boys. Well played. Superior Mirage on the Juggernaut gets us that W. Awesome. That is absolutely awesome. I think I misplayed there. I could have. I could have dispelled it first. Went. I could have played safe, dispelled it, and just got two, like three, four tens, which is also crazy. But I really wanted that Juggernaut ability. I was playing greedy. We didn't get another one. We didn't get another one. Oh my god, we got into it real quick. We're playing Macer? Oh. Alright, boys. Macer's one of the better players in the game. If I lose this one, you can't even... You can't be mad. If this is, like, the actual Macer... <laughs> oh, man's good. Alrighty, so... Alrighty. So, let's move up here. We're gonna start out Flame Blood. Uh, let me... I don't even wanna... Let's replace the second wave. I don't need that right off the bat. We're gonna go Flame Blood. All to turn. All to turn. Our opponent, see what he's playing. He could be playing Tempo. He could be playing Titan. Um, I doubt he's playing a heal variant. I mean, I have seen heal variants before, but if it's the actual Macer, he's definitely not playing a heal variant. I feel like he's probably going to be playing Tempo. All right, we can actually... Oh, Blood Tear. Not Blood Tear. That sucks. Uh, that doesn't allow me to play a Thunderhorn. Actually, I, th I like our hand. We're just gonna move up. We gotta block off the top tile for him. Get rid of that. We have to get rid of that top tile. If I I wanted to play back here, but then he could have went boom, went up here, played minion here, came down here, took the bottom one. That would have been too many tiles to give away. I at least need one of them. Next turn, I'm looking to play Thunderhorn. Right now, uh, Headhunter really isn't the greatest card for us i mean we can buff it still we do have one opening gambit minion in hand but i'm looking to play thunderhorns at this point uh, i think we might see a sentinel here no going face for three okay that's fine playing out a sworn sister which is a-okay with me he can have the draw all he wants um yeah man that's fine we're gonna move up i'm gonna play a thunderhorn uh, I'm, I'm gonna take the tile from him as well 
We are gonna play a Thunderhorn into a First Wish. Or you know, I could have BBS instead, but I think First Wish is fine. Only double Headhunters. Let's hope he doesn't have removal. Could have BBS. If I actually, maybe I should have BBS and tried to block off the path of one of these. Maybe that would have been the better play. But right now, he can't hit Thunderhorn with both of them because they both land on the same spot. But yeah, man, we'll see. We'll see. He's on five mana. Uh, he, no Dancing Blades can't hit us. He can play an Iron Cliff. If he plays an Iron Cliff, we can still do a lot of damage to it. You know, we got five here. Uh, I can potentially play Falcius, so we'll drop it down to a 3-1. Uh, we have things like Wild Tar in here. We still have... Um, I hope we draw into an Astral Phase in this game. I really want to show you guys the power of that card with things like Thunderhorn and Wild Tar. Even Headhunter can get super big. See what Maester decides to do here. But yeah, other plays last turn I could have done. I could have moved back. I could have played a little bit more defensively, put my Thunderhorn back here so he can't hit it at all. But if I did that, I give him a mana tile to fool around with, and that's something I'm not really looking on doing. Um, definitely since he just drew two cards. Hopefully they were just trash cards. I feel like we're going to see an Iron Cliff come out here, which is fine. There is the Iron Cliff, as expected. Uh, maybe we can drop a... Um, Lionheart Blessing. Okay. So maybe we can look to drop something here to draw into a... Um, probably the Spelljammer. Hand looks pretty filled. Primus Fist! Primus Fist does it. It takes care of our problem here. Uh, we are going to have to go a little bit face here. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. That's fine. But now that Iron um, Iron Cliff is dead, I can't get hit by any Divine Bonds or Holy Immolation, which is something I was worried about. Um, he can move up here, hit General. BBS hit me for four. That puts him in range of hit and getting hit by Thunderhorn, though. I hope we draw an Astral Phasing. That's what we're digging for right now. Astral Phasing. Tiger coming out here to get rid of that uh, Thunderhorn. That's fine. Um, we can look to develop a Headhunter if we want. Maybe develop a Wild Tar. Okay. That's fine. Get him a little bit of card draw. phasing baby we got it do i want to face tank two damage or four just leave a primus fist the headhunter hit him for two call that a turn i really want to get some damage on him all right now we have second witch into astral phasing which is nice so if he backs up and tries to develop a board we can do something about it he does have six cards in hand um i'm surprised we actually saw lionheart blessing i'm probably he most likely got that out of the sworn sister hopefully we just don't see an answer here for the thunderhorn all right bbs tiger does it Unfortunate, man. Unfortunate that he had that answer. Um, yeah. Tiger's really cleaning up my Thunder Horns, which isn't good for me. Um, but we can figure something out. At least I'm three mana. We already know he's playing Blood Tear, so he could... Yep, Blood Tear that off.
Ooh, with Fizz. Interesting. Probably another card that he pulled out of, uh... Uh, Sworn Sister. We can actually abuse the Wild Tar here and get it super big since the Fizz is going to attack. We can try to draw into... We can try to draw into a uh, Thunderhorn. Thunderhorn, Thunderhorn, Thunderhorn! Blood of Air. How about this for a play, guys? Come over here. Come up here. If I play this here, Blood Tear can hit it, and I don't like that. Oh no, it can't. We'll go face. Fizz is going to come into this, which is going to make War, uh, Wild Tart super, super nice here. It's going to make it super buffed. Fury Mirage is nice. He's going to have to BBS. Oh, does he have BBS this turn? He does not. So he cannot BBS the uh, Blood Tear. He cannot BBS on the Blood Tear. Hopefully, we don't get hit by the third Tiger. Dancing Blades, fine. Playing a really budget version of this deck. I wonder if he's going to face tank the rest of this damage. I hope I hope he does. I hope he does. hope he does not have the answer for everything. He's not going to face tank more. Fentanyl. <laughs> the answers are real, man. The answers are real. I want to play Spelljammer here to get card draw, but if I do, I can't play Blood of Air, which is unfortunate, but then I get hit by 6 damage next turn. Not looking forward to that. Go, go face a little bit, get a little face damage, and drop him down to 11, the BBS here and call it a turn. Headhunter is fine. That Sentinel, man, that was unfortunate. Eh, I really don't want Headhunter right now. It's not a card I'm looking to draw. Looking to draw into, like... Oh, we'll see. Other Sentinel? Great. Mage Sworn. Oh, God. Is he playing a Titan deck? Now that I think about it, he's playing Titan, isn't he? That, that sneaky, sneaky man. I can't cast First Wish or my BBS. Oh god, I didn't think about it. I can play Astral Facing. He's playing a Titan deck and I didn't even think about it. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. Titan Dex is actually something I really, really, really don't want to see. Because if he plays a Titan on me, I'm dead. There it is. Well played. At this point in time, we are not going to win this game. Unfortunate, man. Uh, what can I say? I had the answers for all my threats. Uh, double tigers in a row. Blood tears. Uh, fentanyls. Pretty sure we just... I'm pretty sure that was Pacer. But, unfortunately for us, that like guy had, had every answer for every threat I put on the board. Which is fine. Um, I mean, let me show you guys the deck. So, um, that's 
So this was the past two games we just played. This was yesterday, man. I was killing with this deck. We won, I think, I think we won 11 and 4 with it. We got the four wins here, loss. Um, another loss, another two wins, another loss, another two wins. Um, th those were different decks. Those were different decks. All right, yeah. So we, we, you know what? The deck, I'm telling you, the deck works pretty fine. I like it so far. Unfortunately for us, um, that game didn't go too well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Nonetheless, if you did, make sure you guys leave it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys seen any misplays, anything like that. Any changes to the deck you think would work out pretty well. Uh, but like I said, other than that, I'm your boy Klazo. I hope you guys keep on dueling. I'll see you guys next time.